Hello, today we'll be looking at Saturn Infotech's pre-built dashboards for Oracle responses built on Oracle BIX, Business Intelligence Cloud Service. Our solution is designed for customers using responses to quickly get started on Oracle BIX. First, a little bit about Saturn Infotech, or BI and EPM Cloud Specialized Oracle Platinum Partners. We've received recognition for fast growth and outstanding management by many award programs such as Inc. Magazine and Smart CEO. Not only do we provide BI and EPM implementation of software, but a full range of professional and support services, including managed services, performance optimizations, and upgrades. Now we'll take a look at the dashboard. First, we'll take a look at our campaign analytics tab. You'll see our main key performance indicators are displayed up top, budget, actual, cost, variance, percentage, total campaigns, and success rate. Clicking each KPI will bring you into a more detailed report. So if we click the budget number of 231,000, you can fur further analyze your budget by simply clicking the number. Now we'll go back into the campaign analytics tab. Moving down reports for budget versus actual, campaigns by marketing program, campaigns by campaign type, and success rate by salesperson. You can also filter this data on the left-hand side using drop-downs for year, quarter, month, or region, or other marketing and campaign details. Also important to note is that all of the reports, KPIs, and data visualizations you see here are fully customizable. We can even change the look and feel of your reports without any technical turnover time. You can view any of these reports in a table or graph form and every section of the report can be clicked to drill deeper as well as exported or printed into a format of your liking, such as PDF, Excel, or CSV. Next tab is Customer Analytics. Here we have a similar layout displaying the key performance indicators for customer information up top. Reports include customer value by their level of education, where the value is recognized by either net worth or revenue. You can see groupings of your customer audience demographics by age, race, generation, etc., and also customer satisfaction and participation. With the participation graph, you can filter the data by campaign. The last two reports are customer interests and net promoter score. They're also displayed in either a graph or tabular form. You can use this slider to see customer interests across all of your campaigns. In the Net Promoter Score report, the slider lets you define a reg region and, you'll, and it'll show you the percentage of customers desired to be detractors, passive, or promoters. In the Email Analytics tab, it reflects performance of all of your email campaigns. You can get an overall feel of how your emails are performed by seeing the number of emails delivered, opened, bounced, clicked, and which generated in sales. The delivered Delivered versus clicked graph shows you a nice visual comparison of your campaigns based on number of emails clicked and delivered. As you can see, the larger bubbles represent a higher click and delivery, and the campaigns are differentiated by color. Similarly, you can see report of your emails clicked compared to which emails ended with a sale. Other reports include sales versus delivered, so you can compare those emails that were delivered, which resulted in a sale. The bounce versus delivered report shows the ratio of delivered versus bounced in a specific email campaign. The larger sections of the pie graph simply mean those had the highest number of emails delivered. You can hover over each section and click for further details. Now we'll go into sales analytics. Here a sales department can get a quick snapshot of what their sales numbers look like, starting with overall investment, number of sales, profit, and distinct weekend sales versus week sales. The top customers by campaign report shows which customers in each campaign brought in the most sales revenue. The monthly trails, trend sales gives you an overall idea of what the sales numbers look like for each campaign in each month. And other reports allow you to identify your top salesperson and top selling products. And we'll go into products analytics. Here the total of units sold to campaign reports gives you the product category and campaigns within that product category so you can identify which campaigns were most successful in selling a product type. You can click any bar for further details to see the breakdown of product subcategories. The weekend versus weekday sales can also be used by dragging a slider to distinguish product category. And the sales trend report breaks down sales by year, month, and product category with units sold and sales side by side. 
So now we'll do an example where we perform a multi-level, more granular drill down using the report for sales by product category, which indicates which roles within the family household are purchasing, such as husband, wife, female head, or male head. For instance, if we click on any color indicating that sales product category, we'll click on technology. It will bring you into a more detailed report of those subcategories. You can drill even further, so if we want to see specific products in telephones and communication, we get another graph with a specific product name. The final two tabs we'll look at are shipment and order analytics. In shipments, you see a comparison of product sales, shipments by region, shipment by product, and daily number of shipments. And order analytics will show you the order received during the week versus on the weekend, and a report for orders per campaign.